Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Elieska Bushcraft. I'm Ashley. For those of you who don't know me, it's not that important. <laughs> anyway, um, before I get into this, be sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe for more of this awesomeness. Okay, so today I'm doing a belt review. Um, this belt is known as the Old World Harness. You might remember Matthew doing a belt review a, a couple episodes ago when he talked about the leather one that got stolen. Well, that's this, and actually I didn't steal it, I borrowed it without the intention of putting it back. So, Okay, so this is a really thick leather belt. Um, old World Harness, I think is what it's called. Um, as you can see, <laughs> There's, it's the leather's so thick that when I carry my knife scout style on it, it leaves little bolt markings on it. Little bolt markings on it. Because I want to just see so you can see. Little, yeah. So anyway, and because I have a really small waist, we also had to add in this extra little hole. What else we did with this thing? Because I'm comparing this against my normal belt, which. Um, if you guys remember from my EDC video, is a custom-made hobble belt um, for hobbles for horses' legs if you're hunting and can't tie them. But the thing that I liked about this belt that this belt didn't have here was this keeper here that prevents pinching. Like when you're fastening it, it keeps it from getting pinched and stuff. So what Matthew did was he modded it and added a keeper of his own. And so far, I mean, it's a little ghetto, but because it's made of rubber. <laughs> but honestly, you can't really see it. And so far it works really nice. So I mean, it doesn't have to be fancy. Okay, so with this belt, um, at first it was really, really uncomfortable because like breaking in leather boots, Breaking in leather belts can also be very difficult, especially when the leather is like super duper thick. So this has been broken in a lot more because I wear it quite often and this is like the perfect belt for wearing with Carhartts. Like I can't wear it with jeans and this belt's okay with Carhartts, but I mean this is so much thicker and stronger that it actually holds the pants up better along with stuff like this knife and Matthew's Glock and all those things that, but it, it bears weight really, really well. And I like the roller on the buckle, which I wish mine had that. <laughs> this belt is still number one in my heart, but this one's really functional for adventures and car hearts and everything else. Um, and then also one other thing that really bothered me about this belt that this belt seems to do a much better job of. If you look, you'll see this keeper here on this belt. It's really super tiny and pathetic. This one is a lot stronger, so I'm not worried about it breaking. Whereas this one, I'm surprised, has not snapped yet. Just my luck that I snap it right here on camera. Um, actually, it needs to be taken off and redone because that's pathetic. Anyway. So I generally wear this, I mean, usually I wear this even with Carhartts, but I mean, if I'm going to be carrying a lot, like my water bottle, I have a water bottle rig system, which I can probably explain in another episode, where I have a carabiner that hooks to a front belt loop and a back um, to distribute the weight of the water bottle. And it works better when the pants are held up by this sturdy belt. And so if I'm going to be carrying my water bottle or a lot of knives or anything, I'm going to usually use this belt for adventuring, whereas this is better for jeans. <laughs> Side note, you may not want to wear this for jeans unless they're the high-waisted, super heavy-duty Wrangler jeans, or it's going to be really uncomfortable. But I mean, I'm still breaking it in. I mean, it could be a little bit more supple. I've been putting a lot of oil and stuff on it and just, just using it all the time. So it's getting there, but it's not quite where I would like it to be. Like this thing is like... This thing is like liquid, but that's because it's just been used so much. I mean, it's thick leather too, but not quite as stiff and thick as this, but so far I've been pretty happy with this belt. I mean, Matthew let me try um, one of his synthetic belts. I'm not a fan of synthetic belts, never have been. They just don't fit me properly. I just don't like how they fit, I guess. I don't like how they feel. I like to feel like there's actually something holding my pants up. So for that, this is a really good belt and I've really enjoyed using it. And that's about all I have to say about it. We'll put a link, oh, we'll put a link in the description below. And just a note, um, when you look at it, there's actually two styles of this particular belt. One is the retro style and it actually has stitching. Oh. One is the retro style and that's this. 
this is it, right? This is the retro style, has no stitching, but the one listed is the normal and it does have stitching. This, I don't know if you can see it, has a very faint ridges in it, but I don't know why they did that because you can't even see it and it's kind of ineffective. But anyway, we'll put a link in the description below for, for checking the belt out. I highly recommend. And I'm out.